Hey everyone. Um, so I'm going to try and fix my Model A, my 29 Model A. Um, I'm filming this uh, intro after the work is done. So I already know the answer, uh, if it'll run or not. Um, I guess you'll have to watch and see. Uh, so I have had problems with the distributor, the distributor, the um, shaft where the distributor couples, uh, where the bottom of the distributor where it couples to the shaft that goes down to the um, gear that goes on the cam uh, was stripped and uh, that caused a problem. And uh, I also found a few other things along the way that uh, were definitely uh, um, troublesome. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching and uh, have a look. So here's the old distributor. You can see that tooth in the bottom it meshes with the uh, shaft. It's corroded and what was happening is the uh, shaft wasn't grabbing that and it was slipping. So the uh, shaft would turn on the, on the uh, gear and the cam or on the cam in the bottom in the engine and uh, and it wouldn't turn the distributor. So I got a new distributor and shaft. I've installed that. And then I was just getting around to uh, setting the timing. You have to uh, get, I think it's the number one cylinder at top dead center. I don't know, I did this the other day. And then uh, flip this bolt around. So it just sits in that cam gear, in the little pocket of the cam gear. And uh, yeah, once it does that, then you are at the correct spot for screwing with the timing. But I started in doing this and then I realized that uh, following this handy little diagram here, where it tells me all the things, spots where I'm supposed to have six volts, that I don't have six volts on both sides of the coil. I've got no power on the one side of the coil. So then I can't uh, finish setting the timing and set the points with uh, no power on one side of the coil. So fortunately, um, the local Napa store had a coil in stock. So I don't know, 40 bucks or something. Seems like a lot, but but hey, they had an almost 100-year-old car part in stock. This is that shaft that connects in the bottom of the distributor, which was a problem, as mentioned, because it would slip out and it wouldn't always turn that. Took a little while to figure that out. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna get at uh, screwing with this and try and get some uh, some timing happening. I'm gonna swap this coil out. So now I have every tool I own. Maybe not every tool, but a bunch of tools out here. Uh, I've changed the coil. Did a bunch of wiring. Um, the, uh, I, I'm not really sure how this thing was. It was, looks like the wire that goes between the ignition key and the uh, points um, in the distributor had broke at one time. And uh, they had jumped it. So the ignition key had power. They jumped the ignition key from the ammeter and they jumped the uh, points from the uh, hot side of the coil. I guess both sides are hot, but... Uh, the positive side of the coil. So anyways, I have uh, power to my points now, which is uh, wonderful. My ignition is set according to the book. Uh, I just kind of got to put things back together and see if it, if it works. I have to swap that locating pin for the timing. This guy right here, I have to swap that around and tighten it in. Um, I have to put my dash back together and 
Then I guess it's time to turn it over and see if the thing fires. I don't know. Uh, I think I have everything set right through the manual, but I've never worked on one of these things before. So I guess we're going to find out if it, uh, if it works or not. Well, I'll get putting things together. Okay. So everything's uh, put together back inside. I got to clean up a little bit. Everything's back together in the engine bay. Uh, hopefully that was the problem. And uh, maybe it'll run. That'd be nice. Um, yeah. If you guys know anything about Model A's, um, feel free to chime in in the comments. I don't know a lot about them. I'm learning all the time. They look pretty simple, and that's almost daunting because uh, you uh, underestimate or overestimate the problem. You think it's a bigger problem than what it is. And uh, there's only so many things can go wrong with it. There's no fuel pump. There's no, you know, it's gravity fed. As you can see, it comes in. This is the fuel tank. That is the, uh, I guess, a regulator of sorts. Um, it goes down to the carburetor. Uh, the ignition is straightforward. You know, there's a coil, a distributor, points, spark plugs. It's not really that uh, in depth. All right, well, I'll uh, clean up here and put you on the tripod, and uh, I guess we'll see if this thing's going to run. I got to try and remember how to start it. There's a procedure. Uh, it seems like uh, when I don't start it uh, very often that I uh, forget about the procedure and how I'm supposed to start it. One thing I just noticed, uh, hey, not going to work very well without that thing. So I will, uh, we're going to get some live mechanicing happening here. Oh, hey, but wait, there's two of them. Okay. Well, that's funny. I didn't think I was that dumb to forget it, but I guess I had a new one and I forgot that. So, uh, yeah, that's how quick you can access the inside of the distributor. It's pretty bizarre for me anyways. Uh, yeah, so I'll clean up. I'll get you guys on the tripod and uh, we'll try and get this thing going.
So, uh, mission accomplished. Um, it runs. It lives. It seems to run pretty well. Um, I don't really know what I'm doing with it, driving it. Uh, the non-synchronized uh, transmission. Uh, I'm, I'm getting used to it. I'm getting better. Um, controlling the spark advance and the throttle uh, idle on your hand throttle is interesting. Um, it was a little rough to get going the first try, but it's because I didn't realize uh, that I wasn't using the choke. I had forgot about the choke. So um, it's a bit smoky. I think that's probably just me not having the mix right on the steering wheel. It's running a bit rich. I think I'm giving it too much fuel and uh, not enough spark. And I think that uh, what happens is um, these old things idle really, really low. And all my other cars kind of idle around, you know, 900 RPMs. So... Um, with the Model A idle, wanting to idle around like 400, it really throws me off. Uh, so I always try and give it a little bit more spark to keep it running when really it was just going to sew along like a little sewing machine anyways. Um, so it seems to be working pretty well. Um, it's got some leaks, which they all do. Uh, I've corrected some of the wiring issues, but uh, it really needs to get all, like the whole car rewired. I'm not sure if they, uh, I'll have to look in the in the supplier's book and, and see if... Um, See if they sell a complete kit for uh, like rewiring the whole car from front to back. Um, it's a bigger job. Uh, it's maybe a winter project, but uh, it's, it needs to be done on this car for sure. It's almost a hundred year old wiring. So uh, let me know in the comments if you guys know of any spot where I can get a complete wiring harness that goes from front to back that, uh, for a 29 Model A without um, cowl lights. Um, Preferably one that already incorporates the signal lights in because I have after, well, I guess it's aftermarket signal lights. Um, so preferably one that does that. I kind of like to figure out on flushing the rad. I might flush it sometime because I noticed last year when I took it out a couple of times that um, the rad was starting to boil over a little bit through the cap and it was getting a little hot. Uh, it didn't seem to do that this time. Now that could just be that maybe it wasn't timed right last year and now it's timed right. So not really sure. Um, but yeah, I'm happy. It's a win. Uh, it's a good day. Um, I, I appreciate you guys watching. I haven't been posting as often as I would like, but it's summertime and I'm busy. Um, so, uh, please, uh, share with your friends, like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, all those good things. Um, and, uh, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, please try and keep it positive as much as you can. And, uh, yeah, I hope everyone's doing well. Uh, I'm doing well. We're doing well here in Dunsford, Ontario. Um, everything's going just fine. Thanks very much, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.